Anyway, does anyone here know how to solve for theta r? Uh, you can take this. Okay, I need to okay, learn how you. to use one of these. Uh, so if I think this is if this is theta i, yeah. I think we can find the angle of incidence, which would be 90 minus theta i. Uh, well, oh yeah, that uh, I forgot. This is theta i actually. I am so sorry. Yeah. Uh, so do you know how to solve for for theta r in this equation? Yeah, so theta r uh, sine, so, so we can say sine theta, oh, my handwriting is really bad. No, it's fine. Sine theta r is equal to sine theta i. Yeah. And then n1 divided by n2, and then theta r would just be the sine inverse of this. Okay, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. So, as he said, theta r is just going to be the, oh my goodness. So, it's going to be arc sine of this. Okay. So, that's one surface. Then, let's say for the other surface, it approaches like this, and then goes through and bends. So, does anyone know what this phenomena is called, the one on the left? Okay, reflection, correct. I cannot write with this thing. Okay, does anyone know what it is called when light bends? Okay, that is correct as well. A very smart crowd here. Okay, so uh, you guys probably already know what is the case for reflection. Uh, but, uh, oh shoot, sorry. So, uh, how can you find theta f or, or theta r, I cannot write with this thing, given theta i? How can you find the angle of reflection given the angle of incidence? Huh? Okay, yes, that's right. They are both equal. I can't figure out how to use this thing. Okay, and what about refraction? Do any of you have a specific idea on how to find theta r given theta f? Or theta i? Yeah? It depends on the refractive inductance of both the medium and the relative of the refractive density of both That's true. It depends on the, oh my god. Yes, I probably should. I find it kind of difficult to use these chalks. So sorry. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yes, it does indeed depend on the index of refraction of both mediums, which basically means how fast light moves through each one. So, for example, if n is lower, light moves faster. If n is higher, light moves slower. And I'm pretty sure it follows the equation of v equals c divided by n. All right. So, does anyone have an actual specific equation? Because uh, you were correct. Uh, it does depend on the indices. But does anyone have a yes? Okay. That is correct. Uh, if you have the first index of refraction followed by the angle of incidence, and then you have the second uh, uh, index of refraction, then you can get theta r. So anyway, does anyone here know how to solve for theta r? Uh, so if I think this is if this is theta i, yes. I think we can find the angle of incidence, which would be 90 minus theta i? Uh, well, oh yeah, that, uh, I forgot. This is theta i, actually. I am so sorry. Yeah. Uh, the, so do you know how to solve for, for theta r in this equation? Yeah, so theta r uh, sine, so, so we can say sine theta, oh, my handwriting is really bad. No, it's fine. Sine theta r is equal to sine theta i yeah and then 
n1 divided by n2 and then theta r would just be the sine inverse of this. Okay, that's yeah. correct. Yeah. So, as he said, theta r is just going to be the, oh my goodness. So, it's going to be arc sine of this. Okay, so now let me give you a little problem. 